Can you compare a cheap Dell gaming laptop against the Dell top of the line business model? So I was in a market, I wanted to edit videos, 4K videos for my YouTube channel, and I was looking for laptops, and after some consideration, I ended up choosing this particular machine, which is a Dell G15 low-end gaming series of laptop. I uh, think costed around $900. This is a business class machine. This is a Dell Precision Workstation 7780, cost around $4,000 as is configured. And believe it or not, the performance is almost exactly the same. I have an i7 13 gen CPU in here, 64 gigs of RAM, one terabyte solid state, and we have an RTS 4060. While on this side, we have an i9 CPU, the, we have the RTX 2000, business class graphics card we have 64 gigs of ram and we have a one terabyte solid state performance wise the two laptop is head to head sometimes the g15 is even faster when it comes down to cinebench 24 uh, single core or multi-core this laptop shines maybe 10 percent but almost every single case if it's not completely head to head the g15 is even faster but that's just one part of the deal uh, for example, this is a full metal body shelf. It is unbelievably solid and firm. And of course, we have just a regular old-fashioned cheap plastic uh, on this side. However, this laptop is still pretty robust regards of connectivity, regards of options. We have significantly less. This is significantly bulkier and chunkier, which actually comes handy uh, if we're looking at the cooling system in here. So this i7 is performing almost exactly than this i9. This is a thinner, uh, much nicer laptop. Overall, this is what you are getting. This metal case, this metal body wraps everything around and a little bit nicer features. This one has a two megapixel webcam. This one still uh, is an up-to-date model, a one megapixel webcam. It's unbelievable. I, I just can't wait until we get to the point when all these thousand dollar laptops will come with a five megapixel webcam. But other than that, yeah, the ports, uh, this laptop is actually has an advantage because it's chunkier and bulkier. We have more ports on the backside. This laptop, unfortunately, at one point, uh, maybe do the marketing team demand that it has to be slimmer. Uh, now you have the power cord. Uh, you have a 240 watt slim type power supply for this particular guy. And for this one, we have the 330 watt brick type of power cord. Uh, but as you can see in here, you have to plug this thing into the side of the machine. And if it's on your desk, it will be just like that. How, however, with the, the G15, we can just plug this in to the back side of the laptop and you have both sides still available. So there's pros and cons, but I'm just telling you, if you don't need to represent, uh, you don't need to go to a conference room or a meeting uh, to impress a client, maybe, just maybe, you can do the same amount of work uh, on a gaming laptop. It's just for consideration. This thing is $1,000, this thing is $4,000. Performance-wise, they're almost completely head-to-head. -head. Now, maybe this one has security features. Maybe the RTX 2000 commercial card have more features, what you need for your work. Please look into that. But in general, yeah, you can have four solid state in here. We only have two. Uh, maybe we can put eight terabyte worth of solid state in here. You can put 16. You can have RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 10. So there's a lot of more options. But for general, like video editing, uh, something which requires power, the gaming laptop is actually not a, a bad idea. Also, Scott, the warranty must be significantly better. Oh, yeah, you can have pro support, four-hour warranty, whatnot. However, you can get premium warranty, which I have. It's still on site. They still have to come out uh, next business day or next day. So Dell is giving you actually a lot of options. Uh, just do your research, spend some time, and find out what you need or maybe don't need or maybe you still need. So anyway, if you have any question, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this quick video. I'll see you in the next video. Scott's out.